Hey guys, 2022 is in the books. We're starting a new year. How about giving some great prizes away? Well, let's do it right now. Hey everyone, I want to thank you for making 2022 another successful Preacher Digger year. I can't believe that this year is already over and uh, time just really flies when, it, when, when you're having fun. And I appreciate all of you helping to make my channel successful. I broke over 5,000. I got the chance to travel uh, to different states and to different countries this year and had a great time and planning on going back to England here in a couple of months. And uh, I just want to say thank you to you, the subscribers. And I just want to ask all of you, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because that really helps my channel. Uh, like my channel, comment on my channel, and that really helps this channel to really grow. But in my appreciation, I want to give away a New Year's giveaway here. And I'm going to do this year, I'm going I'm to do four giveaways. I want a chance for at least four people to win something. And here's what we're going to be giving away. A brand new Simplex by Nota Macro with headphones. And so that's going to be the number one winner uh, in this drawing here. But I'm also going to be giving away this Walking Liberty Half Dollar. I think it's 1947. I think that's the year. And I'm also going to be giving away this 1914 Barber Porter that I dug in the last video of 2022, just a couple weeks ago. I'm going to be giving that away. And then for a fourth prize, I'm going to be giving away this box of coins. It's got an Indian head in it, a steel wheat scent, a mercury dime. Uh, a war quarter, a buffalo nickel, and a V nickel. And so we're going to be giving away all of these different prizes plus that detector. And it's just my way of saying thank you. Thank you for just supporting this channel and giving it the views and the likes that it needs to be successful. I'm looking to grow even more this year. Uh, looking to do even greater things, getting into doing some diving uh, in the swim areas this summer. And, uh, and so here's how you can enter to win these four prizes. First thing that you can do that you need to do, and I'll put the rules up here right beside me, is that you need to share this video. Just share it any way that you can. If you can't share it, that's fine, but just try to share it on your social media in any way that you can. Then like this video. <clears throat> just give me a thumbs up on it. And, uh, and then comment something. I don't care what you comment. Comment something there about my channel. And, uh, and then you must be a subscriber to win uh, any of these prizes. And this is only going to be for the U.S. entries only. And so uh, if you can just do those things, just give it a thumbs up, uh, a like, just share it, comment on it, and be a subscriber. And, uh, and for U.S. entries only, that's all it takes to be part of this, this, comp uh, this uh, uh, giveaway. And, uh, and also, don't forget that you only have 30 days to claim your prizes, okay? I've had people in the past not claim their prizes, and after 30 days, these prizes just go right back into the drawing for the next drawing. So, uh, with that in mind, I wish all of you a happy new year. Uh, good luck upon winning the prizes. We're going to be doing our drawing on uh, J January the 9th at 5 o'clock before my new video comes out at 6 o'clock. And so I'll put all that in the, at the end of this video as well and in the video description below that you can look at all the information uh, as well. So uh, I wish you all good luck and I wish you all have a very happy new year and I look forward to seeing who the winners are uh, here on January the 9th. So until then, like I always say, the greatest treasure, folks, is not what we can find in a year's time. The greatest treasure is what we can find up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, and that'll be at the drawing, I just wish everybody happy hunting, happy new year, and God bless. A good one right there. I may try to dig this one out.
Oh, uh, it's coming, it's coming. I see it every time you hit it, it's moving. I can see it moving. I hit it right here. See if I can keep cracking. Oh, it's cracking. I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, it's yeah. Hey, splash some water on it so we can see better. You can see where you need to hit it. This right, it's coming. Every time you hit it, here, you? let's keep at it. I'm going to move this back down. Sure, hold on to it, buddy. I will. All right, so Preacher's found this ammonite, and I'm helping him get it out. It's in some hard material. It's teamwork. That means I get to keep half of it. Yeah. Let's, let's, look, here it comes. Oh! oh! Unbelievable. Check that out. That's awesome. That's a nice That's a one. a complete ammonite. Yeah. I don't know what I'm holding. Here. Just <laughs> point it toward me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're, you're right. In, you're just right. You're over here. right there. It looks good. I can clean that one up. I can clean that one up. Yeah. It's got quite the rig. <laughs> yeah. That looks good. Awesome. All right, man. I got one. I dug out a hole. I can clean that one up. Just got that murk. Just got a weedy. And now I got a silver ring. Oh, yeah. Right there. Let's see what that's going to, yeah, I think that's going to be a silver ring. Ring it up like a 30. Yeah, that's going to have some writing on it. Let me clean this up and see what this is. Boy Scout ring. Sweet. Yeah, silver Boy Scout ring. I'm going to say Cubs on it. Cub Scout, I should say. Nice. Yeah, so check that out. 60s or something? Yeah. It's got the wolf on there. Yeah. All right. Well done. That'll work, man. Getting a very high tone, like a 30, just squealing and just real jumpy and erratic. And uh, cleared off this mulch on the top. Check this out. That's an actual quarter coin spill. Look at that. Right on top of the ground. Let's see how many there is. There's. Let's get my shovel over here. We'll count them up. There's one. Too bad they're not silver. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, they're still going. 16. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. They keep going all the way back over here. 16. 17. Move that out of the shade. 17. Eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. There's got to be one more in here. 39 I tell you what let's uh, put that right over here let's check the hole one more time nope that's it it'll be 39 quarters 39 quarter spill check that out that's not bad at all it's not silver but I'll take it I did it. Finally got my first hammered. I'm digging up some good coppers and that Roman coin 
and I just popped it up. I saw the little silver tinge to it. I saw a little, little cross on the back. So man, the pressure's off. At least I got hammered today. All right, let's look at it. There it is, ringing up a 13 or 14 right there. Check that out. You can tell right there. See, it's hammered right there. I don't know what kind it is yet. A nice, nice hammered. May have a picture on the front. I think it does. I don't want to rub this too much. Let me get some water and let me clean this up. Yeah, it's going to have a a portrait on it. If I can keep it in frame. Looks like it's going to be a female. I can't really tell. All right, let me uh, do some more work on it. We'll get another shot. I have no idea what kind of hammer coin this is going to be. I'll find out later on the night and I'll tell you guys tomorrow. But you can definitely see the cross there on top. The circle. It's in great shape too. Look at that. I'm hoping this is going to be 1400s and earlier. All right. I feel so much better now that I got hammered. So that's the very... Well, I just got a beautiful ring. It's got some type of stone on it. It's 14 karat white gold with baguettes on the side. That's really nice right there. When I came in, the lady asked me if I was metal detecting. She knows me. I told her, yes. Yeah. She told me that there was a lost wedding ring in the lake. And uh, I told her I would return it if I found it. This could be it. We're going to take it back up there as I leave. Sorry about the wind. It's real windy today. And uh, we're going to give that lady a call and see if this is, if she can describe this ring, then I'll give it back to her. But the lady said, if this is not her ring, then I get to keep it. So, all right. Really good find right there. All right. Let's keep on looking for some more. Well, I did find the owner. Uh, when I pulled in, she told me that they had uh, lost a ring. If anybody would find it and report it, they would love to have it back. It's kind of a multicolored stone. Got diamonds on the side, a twisted shank, 14 karat gold. So let's go back out and uh, see if we can't find the wedding band along with this engagement ring, okay? Let's go see what we can get. Well, I found it. it took me about 30 minutes. I found a silver ring in the process though. But there it is, white gold, diamond, little horseshoe. It goes around her stone. She's going to be so happy when I text her back and show her a picture of this. And uh, we'll meet up somewhere and do a ring return. This is awesome. I'm so happy I found that ring for her. I, uh, in about 30 minutes, I went and gridded one direction and went and gridded the other direction, and ringing up a solid 40. And uh, I knew when I heard it, that was the ring. I knew it was before I even scooped it up. But uh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that she got that. Can't wait to return it to her. Way to meet up with Carly, the young lady that lost her wedding ring in the lake that I found. And I made contact with her mother-in-law. And then uh, later on, she contacted me. And we set up a halfway meeting point at a place I'm going to exchange and, and give her this ring. Can't wait to see the look on her face. And I know she's going to be really, really excited. So I'm excited for it too. And I'm just happy I could do this. And that's what makes, what makes this a part of the hobby really great is being able to give back and to see the look and the smiles on people's faces. That's what it's really all about with me. Anyway, I got a little ways to go to meet her. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, well, this is Carly. Let's stand out of the road right here. Yeah. Well, Thank there you, you go. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. That is, is that amazing. them? Yes, that is them. <laughs> All right. It's going to be good to not have my temporary on. Yeah, and then you put the real ones back on, can't you? Check uh, that out. Feels right again. Man, I'm so glad I could do that for you. Oh, that's so nice. Tell me how you felt when you lost them, though. Oh, my gosh. My heart dropped immediately, and you could just feel it. We were playing ball in the in the lake, and they just slipped right off, and I felt it the instant, and I froze. And then everybody else, I was trying to get them to all come over and... They were gone. Well, I'm glad I could find them for you, though. That's really, it, uh, it makes everybody feel happy. Happy ending oh, on I, that. I cannot thank you enough. Yeah. Thank you so 
finally we got some bling, some real stuff here. We got an engagement ring with a spacer on the bottom of it. It's a 14 karat white gold diamond ring. Oh, bring it up a 45, a 46. Now that's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna search around in here. Maybe the wedding band is in here too. So uh, maybe we'll get another one in here. So let's keep going. Well, it's Sunday afternoon. I didn't have anything else to do. So I came back out here to Relic Roundup and kind of hit this again. I've just been kind of doing a little bit every day, just a little bit, a couple hours. But you know, this place never ceases to amaze me. Just when you come out here, and I've been out here many times and didn't find anything. And sometimes you come out here and you just find one thing or two things. But usually when you find the one or two things, it's usually good something good. I was just getting like a 31, 33, jumping all around. I had a lower signal in there too. And so two signals, I'm thinking, oh, this is just going to be another big thing of brass or it's going to be some lead or something like that. Been digging a lot of, a lot of uh, brass and lead and aluminum out of here. And like, I'm just like, this is just trash. That's all it is. I didn't live dig it and I just dug this up and popped it out. And you're not going to believe what is down here. I don't even know what it is yet. Let's look at it together. And there it is, folks. When I popped it up, that's what I saw. I'm thinking that ain't brass, that ain't aluminum, that ain't lead, that is silver. It doesn't even look American. What is that? What is this thing? Look at that, it's about, it's not quite as big as a half dollar, but it's bigger than a quarter. What in the world is that? I don't want to rub it, so let's just, uh, let's sit it right down here, and let's break out the holy water. Let's see what this is going to be. It's whole? Check that out. Definitely not American, but definitely silver. Let's just pop that. Yeah. Let's just pop that. It just rained last night. So it's kind of wet. That is an amazing find. Look at that. It's 1900. It's 1900. Wow. Let me rub this on my pants right quick and maybe we can read the lettering on the back of that thing. Got my little muddy fingers here. Gosh, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, I'm just as excited as you are. 1900. Let me do some looking up online right quick and get back with you. And, and is this Venezuela? Let me get back with you on this and let's see what this is going to be. All right, this is a two Bolivars. It's a Venezuela coin made in 1900 that's what it says united states of venezuela in spanish there and it weighs 10 grams i guess that says gram 10 10 grams that's what the the site on the website i looked up said 835 i don't know if that's 83.5 percent silver no line it said it was 90 percent silver i got to do some more checking up look at the condition of this thing gosh what's it doing here that is this place never ceases to amaze me well it's getting a real iffy deep signal didn't know what it was and like I said this is where a tree was right here at one time and I see the edge of silver this dirt is so dry it's just like powder coming out of here is that gonna be a quarter it's gonna be a half what do y'all think it is That's bigger than a quarter. That's gonna be a half dollar, guys. Looky there. This is just my second target. I've dug a weedy and I've dug some trash. A 1934 half dollar. Check that out. Second target here. Second coin, I should say. 1934. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. That is in pretty good condition. It's got some wear on it. Still see the date. Got some toning. It's coming out of this old sand just really good. It's like sugar sand. 
man, I'll take that any day. Won't you, won't you guys? First time. So this might be a good house. So we're starting out good. Hope I didn't jinx myself. So let's keep on going. Let's see what we got. But I just got a 16 and thought it was going to be a button and brushed it up a little bit. And it is a Roman coin. Check this out. I'm kind of blocking the sunlight because I'm in the trying to block the wind. Uh-oh, see that? Check that out. That is in perfect definition too. Wow. Let me do some cleaning up on it real easy and let's see if we can get some more details. This is the best Roman coin I have ever dug as far as details. Check that out. I don't know who that emperor is going to be. I'll try to get my Roman coin app tonight and try to identify this. But there's the portrait looking to the right. You can still see the writing on this one. This thing has been dropped and not been disturbed since I picked it up. I guess it goes that way. I'm not sure on these coins how they did them. Could go that way. It's got some writing on the very bottom of it. These are bronze coins, so you never want to put water on these bronze coins. But I came over here all by myself. All the other guys are in the other field. And I came and started just working this real slow. I'm so glad I did. Man, this is my third Roman. And I've got three different sizes. One size of a half dollar, one size of a quarter. And this one's about the size of a penny. Maybe just, maybe a dime. Maybe a size of a dime. Let's lay it down. See if we can get a close up on it for you out of the sunlight I don't know who that is but we're gonna find out still working the old stubble field I'm gonna hit this other side next got a 1920 and popped it up check that out that is gonna be a very old ring Wow, let me get it in the sun. A very old ring. Check that out. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. There we go. May have something on it right there. It does. Let me clean this up and we'll come back to it. Check that out. It's a big ring too. It'll fit my finger. I wear a 12. This is probably size 11. It's got two like uh, stalks on each side and two little dots on top. I don't know what this is. It looks old. I'm hoping it's Roman or, or Celtic being bronze like that. Um, chances are it's going to be very old. Can't wait to get this identified. All right, that is. A great relic. I'm glad I stayed in this onion field. This is a stubble field. It's ringing up real choppy. It was about uh, six inches deep. That's amazing. This is stuff I love to find right here. It says made in China right there. No.